So we finally come to check cohomology. So you consider the space X and the space X has a finite open covering. So it is covered by n plus 1 sets going from 0 to n and you denote the intersection uij as ui intersection uj and then you have this uh, notation this uh, u of i0 i1 all the way to it means this intersection just like we had in the circle example so u of 1 0 1 1 all the way. so for example u 1 2 3 means it is intersection of u1 intersection u2 intersection u3 so let this uh, curly F be a sheaf of abelian groups and you consider this following sequence. So this sequence you have seen before. So this part you call as C0. So you have I0 index here. This is I0 less than I1. So you call this C1. We call this part as C2 and this last part as Cn. So after you have the intersection of uh, all the sets, that is all the n plus 1 sets, then you just have 0, 0. So this is just 0, 0, 0. And then you have these maps D0, D1 and so on. So between two such things, you always have this ordered index. You have I0, I1, I2, I3 all the way to Iit. And then you have this map dt which will take this intersection to one more to t plus one so you have i0 i1 you again order it to the to t plus one and again this we have seen in the previous lecture you take the section s here you apply dt to it then you will land in this part so you land in t plus one so i0 i1 i2 all the way to t plus one and this is equal to summation k equals to 0 to t plus 1 minus 1 to the power of k and this here. So this is the missing index. This is the missing index. Now what we want to show is composition is 0. That is if you first apply this dt and then you apply dt plus 1 you should get 0. So let us see this. So let this p be dt minus 1 s. So D of P is just this. I'm just copying this entire thing down. Instead of S, we are putting P. So that is it. D of P is, instead of S, I have just put P and nothing else has been done. Now this P is D, T minus 1 of S. So now you apply D to it. So if you apply uh, D to this uh, I0, all the way to i hat k to i hat t plus 1 we have to split this into two parts yeah so first when you apply uh, d t minus 1 it will go to uh, this uh, all the way to t plus 1 it will go to but notice that this k index is missing so this is missing so you first sum up to k minus 1 and then you sum up from k plus 1 to t plus 1 so you because you have to go all the way to t plus 1 you first sum up to k minus 1, k is missing and then k plus 1 to t plus 1. So this one, this thing is fine. So we had this, uh, so instead say t plus 1 is uh, just 6. So you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So say 4 is missing. So here m is fine, you know, just uh, like in this definition k is 0 to t plus 1, m is 0, m is 1, m is 2, m is 3. But once this 4 is missing, you have if 4 is miss missing then the position numbering of 5 is 4 position numbering of 6 is 5 so this is causing a problem because 4 is missing so to rectify this you add 1 to 4 and 1 to 5 so minus 1 to the power of m plus 1 so this because you raise minus 1 to a power which notices the missing index so here since k was missing and this is beyond k so this sum is still k minus 1. Notice that this sum is still k minus 1. This sum is beyond k because k is missing. So beyond k, since 4 is missing, we have to adjust for the position. And therefore you add 1 to it. Or you could say subtract 1 to it. Anyway, the point is that this and this have opposite sign. This has opposite sign to this. You have m plus 1 here, you have m here. 
So these two cancel each other out. This cancels with this. So you get a zero. So if P is this DS, so we have shown if P is DS, then DP, which will be equal to decompose D with S, this is zero. And therefore you have a complex. So we have something like this. We have a complex zero to C0, C1, C2, C3, and so on. With decompose with D is zero. So you can talk about cohomology groups. Now I want to make special mention of this first part, this D0. So you know this D0, this acts on S. So it takes S to D0 S. So here you are on two sets, I0, I1. So let us put IJ. So this is always SI minus SJ. So this we have seen in the circle example also. Now these two sections are equal on the intersection. So SI is equal to SJ on UI intersection UJ. If both these SI and SJ come from the same element S, that is the, from the global section. So both of them are equal to the global section. So if they come from the global section, global section means they come from X. So you get kernel as the global section. So kernel means when SI is equal to SJ, then you can glue them together to get a global section. So you can see this is even, uh, you can say as a gluing condition. So you can glue them together and you can get a global section. So kernel of this map is a global sections. But the kernel of this is also H0. So notice that H0 is nothing but kernel of D0 divided by image of something. But here the image is just 0. So this is just kernel of D0. So this H0, 0th homology group is always the global sections. And uh, that is precisely why we dropped f of x here. So in the previous examples of circle, we had f of x here and then we had this thing so we just drop this so you drop it and you recover it because of the gluing condition here you recover it as a kernel of the map